Welcome back to the Villiers Reviews. Today's movie is focused on 2021's movie, Welcome Matt. And the official synopsis of Welcome Matt is, Matt, a well-known writer and director, suffers a traumatic experience that leads to him being deathly afraid to go outside. Therefore, he decides to attempt to write, direct, and star in a future film, all from his apartment. To be honest, this movie to me, it was not that bad. I actually had a good time watching the movie. It had some jokes that were that were hit here and there. And the story itself was pretty interesting with how it was told and just how somewhat different it is going through a traumatic going through a traumatic experience while trying to make a future film in your apartment and everything. Here is my review on the matter. What I first enjoyed about this movie would probably have to be Taj Mori himself. I think that Taj Mori did a good job with the acting as he was the main character throughout this entire movie. And as you see in the movie, we see him go through different stages of emotion as he's trying to overcome a traumatic experience, trying to write a new movie that he's been working on for some time now. And he's trying to just live his life while somewhat trying to overcome his fears of agoraphobia. I think with Taj Mori, he did a good job as he showed he showed me what he could possibly do as an actor with how he acted in his scenes and everything and with other characters as well. As this movie does not have that many characters and I think he he earned, I think he interacted with them pretty well, all of them throughout this movie. So I would say Taj Taj Mori was a good pro. Another pro that I liked about this movie would probably have to be maybe some of the other characters, not all, but maybe some of the other characters. Dion Cole as Naaman Narman, he was pretty good as well. As I think he was the comedic relief in this movie with some of the jokes that he had in this movie was a little bit funny. And whenever something serious was happen, was happening, he would always get in a serious route as well. Like in the last um, scenes of the movie, he tells the main character, Matt, played by Taj Mori, about how life goes on and you can't be afraid to like keep going forward with life after going through traumatic experiences because life keeps going forward and if you don't continue forward it's going to be bad news for you all around i think that Dion cole himself was pretty good i'll say that i will say another pro that i had about this movie would be the story i think the story and how it was told was pretty well i think that <laughs> taj mori trying to make a movie on his own in his apartment was pretty funny as some of the characters that, that visit Taj Mori's character tells him that his new idea for his newest movie is downright awful. It needs to be thrown in trash and everything it needs to be set on fire because of how bad it sounds. And to me, I, I felt that was a little bit funny, but at the same time, kind of like messed up his confidence with how he tries to do this new movie. But that was my good. Here's the bad. The first thing I did not like about this movie would be probably how some of the other characters were written. To me, I felt like some of the other main characters in this movie was written. They weren't written bad, but it really wasn't anything special about them. Like you have the girlfriend that's cheating. You have the semi-famous director who's too famous now and everything. You have the mom who tries to do her best, but really can't. And you have this cringe-worthy character who I, who I found a little bit funny, who just got out of the nut house and trying to become an actor and everything, and possibly trying to put Taj Mori on a t-shirt. Like, <laughs> I think that some of the characters could have been a little bit better written and everything. But yeah, another thing that I did not like about this movie was not getting it to the point like throughout the movie you hear matt talking about like talking about like the experience but not basically explaining what really happens and throughout the movie we will only get flashbacks as to what happened like what was the traumatic ex what was the traumatic experience that 
my faces that might suffer from. And I just wish that it would have like explained the traumatic experience in full, maybe a little bit sooner than when it did, because I was like, are they, I was like, are they going to talk about it? Like, when is it going to happen? And once they explain the situation, like once they explain like what really happened, you could really feel nothing but more sorry for Taj Mori's character because what happened to him was pretty awful for anybody. And in real life, if somebody were to go through this and face that experience. So, yeah. And in this movie, what I like about this movie was it tries to be extremely serious, but it really wasn't serious. Like it talks about agoraphobia, but I wish that it would have talked about how serious it could really get, like how horrible it is and just how damaging it is to someone's life. Like whenever there were serious moments in this movie, some of them were burning pretty well, but other, others were not that special, were not written that well at all. And some of the characters that tries to help Matt go through this experience, they don't do a really good job as well with trying to help him overcome the experience with agoraphobia and the traumatic experience. But, hey, out of all, I felt like Welcome Matt was a pretty interesting movie to watch. Despite the few negatives that it had, I didn't have a bad time watching it. And how I would rate Welcome Matt out of five stars, I would probably rate Welcome Matt maybe two and a half stars out of five. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. And until next time, goodbye.